What's up guys, welcome back, this is Ben and Chance from BC Vapes, uh, we're here to bring you the Lotus LE80 box mod review, uh, LE80 mod made by Lotus Vaping Technologies, um, before that, uh, Vape News will be released tomorrow, we've already recorded it, just needs a little bit of editing before it's released, uh, but until then, uh, we're going to talk about these. Um, these are the LE80 boxes made by Lotus Vaping Technologies. Very simple boxes. Um, I like mine a lot. It's been a replacement for my IPV since I fried it. I picked this one up yesterday. Um, yeah, um, you want to talk about pros and cons? Yeah. All right. So the first, a couple pros are I really enjoy the dial on the side. If you can see it. There's a dial, a little switch under it, lets you control the top is fire, the middle locks it, and the very bottom shows you what your batteries are at. Like right now, mine is 7.2. And if you hold the fire button down, it'll tell you exactly what they're at. Mine's at 6.45 when it fires. Um, it's spring-loaded 510, and the, they put the button at the very top at an angle, which is very convenient because if you forget to lock it, throw it in your pocket, like I have many times, it has a lower chance of firing rather than it rubbing against your leg and firing like my god box does. And being a smaller button, it's harder for an item such as a knife, your keys, anything to hit it to make it fire. Um, a couple cons are, I've had mine for close to a month now, and I switched with it in my god box, and mine has started to peel around the corners, um, but, I mean, if you get it, it's, uh, 60 bucks retail at almost everywhere, even online, we got ours at Vapor World in Midwest City, and I would definitely just go ahead and order you a $10 skin off Vapor Skins, wherever you prefer. You have any pros or cons? Um, basically everything you mentioned. Uh, the dial's really nice. Um, I mean, the dial's a pro and a con. I really like it because you don't have to sit there and push the button or hold a button down to get to the wattage you want. But uh, you also don't know exactly what you're firing at. Um, I do like how you have the battery meter. It tells you exactly w what voltage your batteries are at, how dead they are. Um, another uh, pro I really like is the sliding door. Um, basically it's just grooved and has uh, magnets in the bottom to hold it in place. Uh, I really like that compared to having to use a screwdriver or a hex key or something to take the door off and change my batteries. Uh, other than that, it's just an extremely simple box. It takes two 18650 batteries. It um, can be built from a .2 to a 5 ohm build. Um, not much else. Uh, reverse battery protection. If you put them in the wrong way, it's not going to fire. Uh, it's not going to break anything either, though. You want to mention the tabs? The how if it's dropped or anything like that? Oh, yeah. Um, one con is the battery tabs. Um, in there, there's just some little brass tabs that hold your battery in place. Uh, if you bend them or drop your mod and they come out of place, you'll get battery rattle. Yeah, or I mean, I've dropped mine like about twice at work, and you can hear it. But they're loose in there, but they still, mine's never disconnected. Um, it's small enough in there to where they stay connected regardless of your battery rattle, and just from vaping, you won't hear it. Yeah, so um, really nice, simple little boxes, uh, very convenient. I really like mine. Um, that's about it for the LE80. We'll go ahead and do uh, some clouds for you guys, and then we'll end the video. Yes, I'll start. And uh, mine's built at 0.5 for my god box, so my dial goes all the way to 100% power. Um, this mod isn't as powerful as like your IPVs, your Segelis, or um, even like the Odd Box. But um, another kind of have to throw in was its size is very convenient. It fits in your pocket just like your phone would, whereas the God Box is kind of like a little tablet in your pocket. It's more suited for winter where you have more pockets. Yep, uh, that's about it, guys. Uh, thanks for watching. Vape news will be released tomorrow. Uh, thank you for watching. Subscribe. Uh, Comment in the comment section. We'll, we'll see you next time.